my Sephora box finally arrived and this time around I didn't pick up a lot of things so we're gonna be diving into my little box today mostly I ordered skincare but I was bad I actually have a second box coming that I picked up three makeup items nothing too bad I didn't go overboard like I usually go and I say overboard but I always try to only get things that I actually really need and one or two things that are makeup that have been catching my eye or something so anyway before I get into it hi welcome to my channel my name is Rita and we do a little bit of makeup style videos some books now and then so if that seems like you would be interested to watch, please be sure to subscribe. It is super easy. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button down below. It does help my channel a lot and it would mean the world to me if you do subscribe. So anyway, let's jump right into it. And the very first product, I'm just gonna start pulling things. The very first product that I got was one that I wasn't particularly going to get, but then I saw it was on an extra sale, so I went on and grabbed it. And I do already have this and I actually used it today. I washed my hair yesterday and I wanted to do a little refresh this morning. So I used the Triple Sec by Dry Bar. Again, this is my second bottle. I really like it. It acts, I think it's like a finishing spray with some kind of um, dry shampoo in it and also texture. So it's like a multi-product in one. I really do like it. Um, I did not purchase an actual dry shampoo like I intended to because I saw this and I was like, okay, I don't want to buy two things, but now I'm probably rethinking my choices and I might go back and order my Amica dry shampoo that I always use. But anyway, first hair product and I think actually the only hair product that I ordered. The rest is literally only skincare in this box and I have one makeup item. Might as well just mention it real quick. And that is my beloved Desperate that I needed in my collection, the Tarte Under Eye, what is this? Color Clay Under Eye Corrector. So I use this uh, to cover my under eyes for that more darkness. I do have um, a lot of uh, bluish and purpley undertones on my under eyes because I don't have any pigment there. So this definitely helps me a lot and I cannot wait to finally be able to use this because mine has been empty for, I want to say, two or three weeks, and I've been really, really missing this product, but I wanted to wait until I got it on a discount instead of just purchasing. So this is my brand new one, and you gotta believe I'm gonna be using it tomorrow to do my makeup. I have been really missing it. I think out of all of my makeup products, this is the one that I cannot live without. I think so. I pulled everything out of the box just to get out of the way. I just have a few essentials that I really cannot live without for my skincare. So let's begin with my daytime products. The first one has been a repurchase for a long time and that is by the Inkylis the caffeine eye cream. I love this product. I've mentioned before in the past that I do suffer from um, under eye bag so my under eyes get really puffy that is just you know part of my gene my genes are genetic uh, i did get them removed surgically around like two years ago but they're still you know a little bit puffy they're coming back it's not like a permanent solution so this is what i use as my everyday every morning um, eye cream i really like it it's in a very affordable price and i do find that it does help to keep that puffiness a little bit more controlled as whenever I don't use it. So really like this product. I use it literally every single day. And then my second time purchasing this product, this is from Pharmacy, my vitamin C. This is a 10% waterless vitamin C serum. So right now I'm currently almost done with my, what's the brand, REA? I think that's, 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 that's a store. What am I talking about? I can't remember the name of the brand. I'll put it right here. And I've been using that, uh, REA, that's, I know it's still an R, REA is at the store, like the outdoor store. But anyway, um, I, I'm using that one currently. It's a vitamin C, but I don't know. I think now that I have this one, I'm going to use them basically side by side and see which one I look I like better. This is going to be my second bottle that I buy from pharmacy from, you know, the vitamin C. And I think I really like it. I bought the other one before 
like the one that I'm currently using, to test it out. But uh, I think I'm gonna prefer this one. I do wanna compare them so I could you know, figure out which one I like better and then moving forward, keep using one or the other. But I like both of them regardless. I can't open this, but I do like both of them. And this is one of the products that is literally basically empty at this point. But um, yeah, really love this product. Let's move on, I'm rambling at this point. Now with the remaining items are part of my night routine. And speaking of pharmacy, my very favorite moisturizer of all time, pretty pricey, but it's a big jumbo size. This is the 100 ml Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramic Moisturizer. So I use this year round during like the night. My night routine, this is my moisturizer of choice. I really like it. I've made my mom a convert and she also loves it. I have more drier skin and of course right now during the colder months it is even more dry. Another product that I am basically, oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? That it's basically already empty. Like I've been scraping every little inch on my past bottle. So this is definitely gonna go and be used tonight because I am out of it and I cannot live without this. I've tried other, other moisturizers, a little more, more expensive, but I just come back to this. I really love this moisturizer. It's thick, but it doesn't feel heavy on your face. It's extremely moisturizing, so you don't need a lot, even if you have more drier skin like I do. I find this performs beautifully on my skin and it locks in that moisture, but it doesn't make my face feel or look greasy. So. 100% would recommend. Of course, you've heard me talk about these products a long time, like a lot of times. And then for my first step in my night routine after I wash my face in the shower and, you know, do a double cleanse with my Garnier Missile Water, my retinol of choice is from the Inky List and this is uh, for normal skin apparently. This is one fluid ounce. This is probably my third bottle or fourth with this one from them or like, whatever container and things about all I really love this product and for my very last product and also my last step on my skincare routine we have my eye cream for the night and this is by Biosense this is a really good price right now that they have on the Sephora sale or the Sephora website you get two full-size um, eye lotions from Biosense. This is the Squalene Pro and Marine Algae Eye Cream. I really like it. My mom loves it too. So we're actually gonna be splitting this in between her and me. So she's gonna get one, I'm gonna get one. This is so cute. Did you see that? How adorable. So yeah, we bought, I bought this one to give, to give one to my mom and I'll be keeping the other one. And I love that the price was super good because this is a very expensive eye cream. I think this is like, $60 maybe even more I don't have my phone around me it is expensive so for a little extra I think this set cost me like almost $80 and maybe I don't remember goodness like I, I wish I had my phone with me but it was definitely a steal whenever you purchased this as opposed to just one so if you like uh, Biosense or you're looking for a new whoop, <laughs> night eye cream, I would strongly recommend you pick this as a set because you save a little bit of money. And then with the Sephora sale going on right now, I think this is gonna come out tomorrow, so Sunday, and the Sephora sale is still going until Monday. So if you're watching this, you can still purchase before, you know, the end of Monday. So anyway, love this uh, eye cream and I use this every single night. I think I pretty much went over my entire skincare routine with you guys. I think the only things that I'm missing, I also mentioned during my Sephora recommendations, which is my Myra Disco spray in the mornings, then my Ordinary um, Hyaluronic Acid, and then I jump into my pharmacy uh, vitamin C, my eye cream from Ink List. So yeah, <laughs> I probably should be updating you soon on my full skincare routine. So let me know in the comments below if you would be interested. But yeah, that is everything that I purchased. I do have another box, like I mentioned, with three products, including a lip liner. And then I got, what else? Oh, I got an eyeshadow palette. It got the best of me. I don't know why I did that because I've been saying like nonstop for the past six months that I haven't worn eyeshadow in a very long time, but I yet bought a new eyeshadow palette. But I think this is going to be perfect for me because it has 
neutrals that are not too dark and a lot of glittery more intense toppers that i am definitely try dying to try and i bought something else but i cannot remember it was three things that i purchased oh yeah a lip product a lip um uh, little i don't know like a i don't want to say lip oil but i'm um, from summer fridays i can't remember what it is but anyway whenever that box arrives i'll let you know and i'm probably gonna be using no i'm not probably i'm going to be filming with that new eyeshadow palette and see what i think anyway if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments below red is crying over there if you are still shopping the sale please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you on the next one bye